and all are starving. That flag does not look... So there are nine great powers in Italy. Hello fellow data friends. We have another major patch and the most bug fixes should be done by now. So it's time for another GDP data time lapse. This time we go until 1998. So enjoy the ride.
Okay, from 1990 until 1998, it took about 1 hour and 50 minutes. And I liked the German communist empire, but this revolt sadly failed. Canada had about, what, 20 revolts? Wild. But let's compare notes with the game. Okay, there are some differences, but I also just reloaded the game. This can mess with market access. Let's tick the game shortly. Looks better. My values can be off by up to a month, so this looks believable. Let's look who the French are fighting. A deep blue play in Senegal versus Scandinavia and Spain. Oh, the French have 1000 units mobilized, and they can call another 1200 conscripts. Okay, the French are clearly the most militarized. Okay, Belgium has zero GDP. Let's wait some time. Nope, nothing happening. Oh, 90% turmoil in Flanders, impressive. And they are in the Americano market, not American. That belongs to the Federation of Americas. Weird. And much of Europe belongs to the Russian market. Wait, Prussia still exists. And Savoy does as well, with 60,000 population. And all are starving. The same goes for Montenegro with less than 4,000 people. And there's no upper strata anymore. Let's look at population. Great Qing is in the lead, then the USA. Looks good, I think. Way less than in our real timeline, but still. Ah, let's order by Sol. Serbia's leading, then Transvaal. Germany and France still rank pretty good. Ah, Serbia's a council republic, that's why. And Germany is a directorial republic. That flag does not look republican to me. Oh, the petit bourgeoisie is in charge. They also got a movement for council republic. It's a single party state. Ah yes, the Nazi party is in charge. And the trade unions joined them. Okay, so much for Europe, time for Africa. It's mostly divided up by the French and the English, and some Portugal, but it's still mostly a lot of different countries. I had expected that the colonial powers fully conquered the continent by 1998, but I don't see much of interest to be honest. Oh, and the Ottomans are an unrecognized regional power. Markets are also pretty much in line with country borders. Asia has changed a bit, but not too much, I guess. There are two Persias, one Chardam and one is a republic ruled by the rural folk. A small part of China went independent as democratic republic, and the British and Dutch still rule most of these parts. Japan is an absolute empire ruled by the landowners with 13% of power, and Japan is in the Russian market. Most of India is in the British market, and the area around Vietnam is divided between the British and Qing. And the Dutch East Indies are in the American market. So, South America. Brazil looks fine. Oh, the Federation of the Americas is a great power. Mostly due to their navy. Let's third the world by prestige. So, there are nine great powers, and Italy isn't one. Oh, they were in the Russian custom unions, right? Okay, the equivalent of the USA is the number one. They get a lot of prestige from army and navy. And America is communist. And is weirdly separated by Ute and Navajo. Mexico is a major power and Rio Grande is independent. But they don't even have an army. And are also a consul republic. In terms of market, Russia got Chile in its market, while Brazil and Ecuador are in the American market. Please comment if they missed something of interest. If you want to compare results with 1.5.10, there is a GDP time lapse on the top. Thanks for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing.